welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop. I'm your host, Clint Johnson. And what we're going to be bringing you guys today, and you can see it behind me this time, uh, is a 1981 Hatteras 50 Sportfish. We'll start off by uh, flying the drone and uh, getting you a little, little bit better view from overhead. And then we'll get on board and check her out. I did forget to mention that this 1981 Hatteras 50 Sportfish, her name is Invictus. And after those flyover shots with my drone, I'll just give you a quick walkabout on the outside until we truly do indeed get on board. See, she shines pretty well. All right, let's hop on board. First thing I'm going to do is just walk you up to the bow, give you a quick view of that. Good amount of room to walk up here on the sides. Very, very large deck. You have storage boxes up here on the bow. You can see both of those. It's always nice. Huge amount of room. Electric windlass. All right, let's head on to the back. Now this hatter, she is a sport fish. So there's plenty of rod holders back here. I mean, you're gonna even have, you have your rod holders up there, but what she does have is she has a fighting chair. Now, this is probably just about the only thing on this boat that just needs maybe a little love, but she's fully operational and really would help when you get that big fish on. So that's a wonderful thing to have on this boat. And as you see through the rest of the boat, it's just a gorgeous boat. So stick with me. Um, they've done a full model, you know, redesign on the inside. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, but plenty of room. Got that nice fighting chair to fight that big one. You do have a door so you can get back onto that really nice swim platform that we saw earlier. And next what we're going to do is we're going to head on into the engine room and this here lifts up and then that door opens and we'll get down there so that we can look at those uh, twin Detroit diesel 8V 90, I think it's 92s, uh, TIs and um, the Onan 15KW generator. Let's go take a look. Alright, let's head down further into this engine room. We're facing forward right now, and so what you're seeing there is on port, you're seeing Detroit Diesel 8V92 Ti, 450 horsepower diesel. Same thing on starboard, our Detroit 8V92 Ti on 450 horse. What you're hearing in the background here a little bit is there are three AC units. There's one blue one up there on top right there and two newer cruise air units and we have the AC on right now so that when I'm videoing the boat it's you know 
nice and cool because it is a warm floor today. And then in addition, over here, not to forget about it, we do have an Onan diesel generator, 15KW. But we'll get in here and we'll take a little bit closer look. So here we're about midway in the engine room and we're facing aft and currently I'm pointed to the starboard aft. You can see there's an AC distribution panel there up top and a DC ship's uh, service panel there. There's additional uh, smaller panels inside the vessel itself and we will get to that. You're looking at 32 volt DC there, I guess. A starboard uh, battery panel and then the port battery panel. We're not going to be starting engines or generator today. Uh, the owners of the vessel are currently actually not here. And due to liability reasons, we don't start generators and engines. But this is this Onan. Looks like real clean, really nice condition. Looks like his last oil change on the generator was 721 or July 20, uh, 2021. Something I want to point out here, you have really good access to your shaft seals on this vessel. Just for inspecting and keeping an eye on them. So that is nice. And we're back here on the Port Detroit diesel, and both of them have uh, oil filters changed. I mean, July of 2021. What's nice is, I'm, you know, I'm not seeing any corrosion. They're well kept, well maintained. They're obviously changing the oil. Currently, as of the date of this video, it is early 2022. Here's your fuel manifold. Go over and get a low view. A lot of times on the lower ends of motors, that's where you might find corrosion, but I'm not seeing it anywhere on these motors. Well maintained. Nice example of an 81 Hatteras 50 Sport Fish. All right, I just wanted to give a quick overview, show there's plenty of room in this engine room. It's clean, seems like they're maintaining it well, and we'll get out and get around to the rest of the boat. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at that, uh, the generator and the two Detroit diesels. Um, we're back on the aft deck, and we are gonna head up this ladder here. A Couple more fishing rod holders here. And let's get up onto the flybridge and take a look around. All right, as we come up on this fly bridge, really nice commanding view. Really solid metal bimini supports. I like that. We have two seats here, chairs. What we have for our main electronics is we do have a Garmin chart plotter, ICOM VHF. Looks like we have another West Marine VHF here. We do have a Furuno radar. And all the normal throttle controls that you would expect on any dual engine boat. And before I forget, I did miss this additional chart plotter up here, another Garmin unit. For your guests, plenty of seating. Really long bench chair here. And as we come around, another large bench chair for seating all of your guests.
All right, we're coming to the point where we're going to head on into the salon and take a look there. Just let me get down this ladder and I'll take you on inside and we'll snoop around. All right, here's the door to the salon entrance. Let's get on inside and I'll show you what we have. Hey guys, do you need a loan to buy your new boat? So many lenders. Who to choose? Are you getting the best rate? What if the boat I want is older than 20 years old? Not to worry, my friends. Boat Snoop has a solution. As a yacht broker, I have a boat loan broker and sponsor of this channel that many of my clients use to great satisfaction. I jokingly call him my boat lending leprechaun, holding the holy grail in his right hand while riding a unicorn over a rainbow into a pot of gold. You might ask, Clint, why do you call him that? Because this guy, he has been in the business for over 30 years and has connections to almost every major boat lender possible. Additionally, he has a good handful of lenders that can finance a boat 21 to 30 years old. And lenders that do that are not that common. Finally, he has one lending source that can finance boats over 30 years old. That's right, it could be possible to get a loan on an antique or classic boat. To summarize, using a boat loan broker such as this saves you time as you only have to fill out one application instead of many from a whole host of different lenders which is time consuming and utterly exhausting. As many of my clients have found, he'll bring to you the best financing deals he can find and that you can qualify for. If you're located in the United States, need a boat loan for $20,000 US dollars or more, and you are interested in connecting with my personally recommended boat lending leprechaun, just email me your name and best phone number at lender at boatsnoop.com. Upon receiving your email, I will personally introduce my lender and you via email at that point. I just fade away and let the two of you get to work on financing your new boat. Now I told you that uh, they really modernized this salon. Did a full makeover on her. Really nice condition. When you first come in through the aft door, you have some nice doors here that, um, here's where your additional electrical panels are kept. I'm not going to show you guys every single storage locker, but there's just, you know, and that goes all the way down, there's storage, and so that's just deep. Now we do have a TV over here, but in addition, I do want to point out right here, we have a very large TV hidden that's all automated. So let me show you how this thing uh, pops right on up. Hidden, stored away, nice and smooth. And in addition, right down there, it does have a DVD player. Really nice, huge TV. So pretty good size seating area. Just sit down, eat, relax, do whatever you want to do. Obviously, there's a couple chairs over there with that table as well. And, you know, with this, you could have one additional person come on board and sleep there. Well, let's head on down and check out the galley.
Now we're going to start with the fact that she actually has, a, this is a full size refrigerator, like something you would find in an apartment or, you know, even somebody would have in a house. So this isn't just a good size for this boat, which I say a lot in a lot of the other videos. Um, this boat, you, you're going to get a full size refrigerator and freezer. So really nice. Nice microwave, good amount of counter countertop space. This is a really large sink. If you can see my hand here for comparison. And this is a three burner electric stove and oven. So before we head out of the galley, I want to point out that this boat has a lot of hidden storage and I'm not going to hit all of it, but I mean, it's just throughout this boat and it is large storage. It's little things like these steps over here that additionally have additional storage and it's pretty deep storage as well. So really nice. I won't go through every single one of them, but I just wanted to point that out. Just a lot of storage on this boat. And I guess it, there should be for a 50 foot boat. So next we're gonna head up and we're gonna head, the master stateroom is really kind of a midships here. So we're gonna head in there and it has its own head and take a look about. Now I'm kind of calling this the master stateroom because it has its own head. Um, this boat does not have you know, a full size or queen size or king size bed, you know, a stateroom like that in it. Um, so some of you might classify that as, um, you know, it's just all guest, um, but still really nice, beautiful woodwork, a lot of storage. Once again, drawers down below, you can see that underneath each of these twin beds. Before we head in the head, I just want to point out there is a large, large locker here. Very, very large locker. I guess you could really call it a closet. Now, as we head into what I'm calling this master head, we are, we are in Florida, and so we've kind of gone with some uh, really cool, bright Caribbean colors. Good size, full-size sink. Really nice. And on top of it, a full-size shower. All right, let's get out and check out the other areas forward of the salon. As we head back into the forward passageway, the galley being off to our left right here, we just came from there. We are going to head into the vessel's shared head, which is also a very large head. Good sized shower in there. Just as large as the other head. Really large sink. And once again, another full size shower. All right, heading forward, we'll get up here and do a quick look. And we have two bunks, pretty deep bunks for our two additional guests, people. And they have their own uh, TV there. What is really kind of cool is you gotta love the little nautical blue light. Adds a lot of ambiance. Really cool, nice. Um, you notice all these fishing rod holders up here that stows them up out of the way. So you get a lot of fishing rods stowed up out of the way up here. I do want to point out 
And there's a door that opens here and gives you access. There's your electric windlass to your chain locker. So a decent amount of chain, but a room for a whole lot more if you want a whole lot more. So really nice access. This is a really large access door. It'd be easy to get in there. They've kept it clean. They've kept it nice. A lot of chain lockers are really filthy and nasty. Um, a lot of rusted chain. This chain, great shape. All right, there's that chain locker access door coming around. We have a whole bunch of additional hanging locker storage. Really deep, really large. And then as we head over right here, we, we have another one right here and I'll open it and give you a look there. And here we come around to this additional, the second hanging locker. Oh, and Boat Snoopy. I wonder where he'd been hiding out the whole video as I was shooting this. I guess he's just kicking back here. For those of you who are curious what that tank is, the listing broker said something to me and I've forgotten. So. I apologize, but I don't want to just spout off something and sound like a fool. So let's uh, head back aft and finish this video up. As we do head back aft here, back out into the salon, Boat Snoopy did remind me that I had forgotten one small little feature. It's not a big feature, but it's pretty cool. Little blue lights. And here it looks like we have some wine bottle storage. So, yeah, thanks Boat Snoopy for reminding me. One last quick look. Well, thank you again for joining me on another episode of Boat Snoop, where we took a look at a 1981 Hatteras 50 Sport Fish. And uh, she's not full standard. She's been remodeled, but uh, really cool to see. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this as as I make them, uh, hit that subscribe button and maybe even hit that bell notification button. Once again, thank you and I'll see you next time.